Hello all, welcome to orotrainers.com. In this session, we'll discuss about how do we customize a standard report. And this agenda, how do we customize a standard report and what are the limitations you just come across. And in this session, we'll discuss about customization of one of the standard report that is called print receivable transaction. Nothing but in a simple terms, I can say it's a receivable invoice print, a receivable, receivable invoice report or AR invoice report, I can say. So what is the customization of a standard report? So what is first of all standard report? A standard report is a report which is provided by Oracle in the out of, as an out of box functionality. And then what do you mean by customizing? Nothing but you're changing the existing standard report according to the customization of your custom requirements. Okay, so this is what we call it as a customization of a standard report. And now what is the process of it? Like when you do a customization, so there are some limitations. We have to very carefully understand that. And then we have to start working on the customization. So before understanding the, before proceeding further, how to customize, let us see some of the limitations also. So first of all, like uh, we know that like uh, to navigate to the reports, there are two ways. One is using XMLP server, other one is analytics. So using analytics, you cannot, you, do, you cannot see option called customization. So you should not use that. Using slash XMLP server, for your uh, Oracle apps ERP instance, then you can see the customize option. And of course you can just ignore the port, like instead of this particular host name colon some port number, you have to consider your, your ERP instance. Customization is op customization option is available only for reports and it is not available for data models. So for data models, you have to manually copy the standard data model into the respective custom folder. And then you have to work on the updation of the data model. And then you have to attach that modified data model to the customized standard report okay so let us we'll see that practically how to be implement okay this is a, one of the limitation you have to be very careful while designing the while working on the customization let us see the customization steps so in our example today like we want to consider a standard report called print receivable transaction so to work on this to work on the customization first of all we have to know what is the ess job and what is the bi report behind that so we just identified our report name, which we want to work on is a print receivable transaction. You have to search via ta using a task called manage enterprise scheduler job definition for job sets for financial supply chain management and related application and search with this particular receivable transaction and just try to check the print receivable transaction invoices. And then we could see that our particular report ID belongs to print receivables build present build presentment default invoice dot XTO. So this is our report ID. Nothing but what we have to do. We know which report we have to customize. So then we have to go to the XMLP server and find out that particular location of the report and then simply click on the report and click on more and click on customize. Okay. Once you click on customize, what will happen is this particular report only the report, not the data model. Only this particular report will get copied automatically into the custom folder. You can observe here shared folders, custom, financial, receivables, bill presentment. It will maintain the same folder structure, but instead of financial, starting with financial, it will start with custom here. And now this particular invoice print template is ready for customization. So generally, most of the time in the report scenario, why do we do a customization? Nothing but you generally work on the changes in the template like adding a logo or you know like adding the colors or adding up some more some more extra sections some groups extra groups extra tables or removing some extra columns like that or adding up new columns and then next thing is how do we customize the data model as we said earlier you cannot modify the data like i when you there is no option called customization of the data model nothing but you don't see any uh, option for that what we have to do you have to simply copy the data model the standard data model standard data model and then copy to the custom folder and what we can do generally you maintain the same folder hierarchy so that it will become very easy for you and then what we do so like uh, when we perform a customization of the standard template automatically it created a custom like it provided this particular folder structure so in this what you do you just click on create a folder and you create a folder with a name called data models in that data models folder you just paste the standard data model okay and once the data model is ready, then you can modify the data model according to your requirement. And of course, don't remove any of the standard groups at all. Only thing is just add up a new columns. That's it. That's the only thing. Or you can create new groups. That's it. Don't do any. Don't try to remove the existing standard logic at all. Next thing is we have to change the data model. By default, it may navigate, it may 
map to the standard one you have to map it to the custom one this is where you have to change the custom like uh, this is a customized template right so on the customized template you have to change the data model so that it will it will point to your custom data model okay this is the next change and now how do we upload the template so here if you observe like a uh, general as i said you we all most of the times we work on the updation of the template so what we can do i'll just skip this slide and i'll show you directly so what you can do is you just click click on your report and click on view as a list and you upload the template but very important thing is when you upload the new template there will be by default there will be two templates like a default invoice template default invoice template srs so what i suggest is and what is the working logic is even though if you just make the default layout as your custom template it will not work the best and the easiest solution for this you can remove the existing standard templates and what are the new template which you have uploaded the custom template which you have uploaded make sure that the template name the template name should be default invoice template so here if you observe the template name is default invoice template, but the template file is my customized template or a trainee underscore default invoice dot rt. Okay, and then you can make default layout like this. And if you try to run it, obviously it will invoke the customized template. Okay, so now let us see this all steps via navigating to the fusion instance. So as I have already customized it, what I'll do is I'll just simply delete it. But very careful when you work on your real environments don't try to delete it if you're not aware simply rename it or just make sure that you perform you download the catalog and then you try to uh, like uh, perform these steps okay and so as it is my training instance i'm like uh, i have my flexibility to delete it so i'm in the print uh, i'm in the bill presentment or i can easiest option is you can simply rename it you can just say i'll just say xx or i'll just give it do not use simple like this so that it will be a backup for you. If something goes wrong, you can simply get the files from that particular stuff. So assume now you don't have anything in the custom folder, right? That's the logic we want to understand now. So if you observe the custom folder, custom financials, receivables, and I don't see any bill presentment. This is old bill presentment and this do not use bill presentment. So these are not relevant to us. I can consider that. And now what we have to do, you have to navigate to the the actual financial folders. So in the in this financials, receivables, build presentment, invoice print template. Just click on more and just simply click on customize. So this particular option, what it will do, it will copy the report from this particular shared folders financials to the shared folders custom. Let us observe that. Okay. And you can observe here. It shows custom slash some financials like that. And now what I'll do, I'll click on view as a list, even though if you remove it or nothing will happen. So what now what we do is we don't as of don't remove it. So next thing is I want to change the template. So you can download the existing standard template like this. Generally, you work on the standard template. And then you modify it. I'll copy this. Okay, I'll say our our trainings version two default invoice template. I don't want to do any changes. Simply, I want to add up one logo. Enable editing. I'll delete this logo. I'll just copy my favorite tree logo. Save it. Okay. Now what we do? Just upload it. Upload the version two. As of now, I just mentioned the template name as new RTF English. Click on view as a list and you can see the latest one. So what I will do is I'll copy the, this name and I'll just rename this one. I'll say one and here I'll name this as my default invoice template. 
and actually these two the above two the standard templates are not required but as a backup you can leave it like that and you can make default template like this and save it and we'll go with output pdf save it now here if you observe if we just mouse over on this one it is still pointing to a standard data model so if you want to customize data model also what we have to do i'll just click on catalog and so he shared folders financial receivable bill, bill presentment click on expand here and transaction print data model is a standard data model for this particular print invoice so i'll just copy here and what i'll do is i'll go copy and go to custom folder so better you maintain the folder structure you can copy any of any place anywhere and you can just point to but that is not the practice so better follow some standard naming convention uh, like a standard uh, rules because in a project there are multiple developers may work it so it is difficult for them to work on the existing report so better you maintain the same like uh, maintain the proper standard way of working on it so it will be easy for the other developers also now here in the same folder structure i'll just create in the custom folder observe carefully in the first folder and here i create a new folder called data models expand and then paste it and the standard data model is copied now now go to the report in the custom folder itself and here you click on edit now here what we have to do as of now it is pointing to the standard data model you simply click on this like uh, here if it is aut automatically if at all if it here if you observe carefully i just copied the standard data model to my custom folder and automatically now it is pointing to automatically it is pointing to custom financial receivables if it is pointing to the appropriate data model it is fine if it is not pointing properly just select this box and select this particular magnifying glass and check the appropriate data model okay now let's go here and try to run the report schedule new processes print receivable transactions So I just selected one of the transaction number and transaction to print is all and I'm not selecting any template here. Okay, let it select and even you can just click on drop down and you should be able to see the default invoice template which we had it. Okay, but don't select anything. Let it see. Let us see what which in template it will pick up. Click on submit. It just takes a couple of seconds and 834 is the job ending. 834. Let us see. So this is a parent job it has to invoke another job yep this is a print receivable transaction invoice now let's see the output so if it is having three logo then it means our particular logic is working fine if not there is something wrong yep completed click on this and let us see perfect so we could be able to see the tree logo so it means that it is invoking our custom template and if you want to add up any new columns just simply add up the columns in the this new data data model and add up the changes in the template and just re-upload very important thing is your template name should be always default invoice template only then only that particular template will get picked up else it will not work Okay, so there are a number of other samples we can come across in standardization of like customization of standard uh, reports. But in this particular sample, in, in this session, we just discussed about the AR invoice print template. Okay, thank you.